guys starting this a little bit more vlog style just saying I've been like the most productive person ever today I did like adult things I got paid I paid bills put some money in savings I cleaned I'm making chili right now in a slow cooker Wow so I've peaked pretty much and yeah so this is gonna be a haul and why is it gonna be a haul because um in the past three months I've purchased quite a few items or you know my mom or my grandma for just a couple of these I don't know exactly which ones whatever so I was going through my closet and I just noticed that there are so so many things that are new which is fine I'm looking at them right now and it's just like like basically half of my closet no no I'm looking at my closet now too that's full um, okay, let's say a fourth of my closet is new now. So yeah, my biggest haul by far. And it is a try-on, of course, because these days you can't not do a try-on haul. It's just all try-on hauls. So yeah, let's get this started. Oh my god. I told you it was a big haul, guys. There's more where that came from. Oh my gosh, you didn't believe me? Well, you should have. Oh. oh my gosh. Woo! God, if you could see this pile right now. If you could see this pile right now, I swear to you. So, this is not going to be in any particular order. Because that's too much work. It's just a giant pile right now. So, we're going to start with these really cute shoes. I got them from TJ Maxx, but they're Adidas brand. Um, as far as what shoe they are it just says cloud foam I don't know but I want to say they retailed for like $80 and I got them for $39 and my battery's dying this is just disrespectful <laughs> um yeah so they're gray and then they have like a rose gold metallic accent on like the aglet thanks Phineas and Fair. this dress from TJ Maxx as well and it's one of those it's like straight across necklines with a spaghetti strap and it's not like something I thought that I would look good in but it's actually very flattering I got this vest from Victoria's Secret pink but like it was an outlet store it retailed for a hundred and nine dollars a hundred and nine dollars and I got it for four dollars so like that is a nice vest for four dollars so let me just then got this top from American Eagle the soft and sexy line on clearance of course because I'm a queen of sales and yeah it's like this tie-dyed pink material and it's so soft and I love it the shirt is from TJ Maxx as well got it for $5.99 and it's like a nice beautiful olive green color with like the stripey detail not stripey strappy detail <laughs> And I love that. Then I got this dress also from TJ Maxx. And I got it for like vacation, swimsuit cover up type of a deal because it's this super cool tie dyed print. It's like a halter at the top and it ties with these little fun tassels. So love that. I got this shirt from TJ Maxx as well, but it's like the Life is Good brand. And I just really liked it because it's like faded so it looks like you have had this shirt for a while or it's like vintage or something your mom gave it to you and yeah it just says life is good on it and it's long sleeve so I like to just like roll up the sleeves and it's super cute these shorts are from Marshalls and they are just like black with like blue flowers and I like them because they're like the kind of shorts that look like a skirt and on the sides these go flare out a little bit to make it look like even more of a skirt and these were nine dollars this shirt I got on sale from Target. It's like the A New Day brand. And it was $10. It's just like bright pink. I plan on wearing this to like the gym and it has like a cute little things. So you can wear a cute sports bra under it and like wear some leggings. 
I just think it would be cute. This skirt is from American Eagle and it's the Don't Ask Why. <sighs> I'm talking so fast. And it's the Don't Ask Why brand. And the only issue I have with the skirt is that it's so cute and whatever. But I'm a pretty small size person in most things. Like I wear a small. But this skirt is a one size fits all and it's like form fitting. So that's a problem. American Eagle, don't ask why. You need to address that. Because this is tiny to be a one size fits all. Like that's not okay. But it's gray suede. And I got it on sale. That's the only reason I bought it. I would not have paid retail price for this because it was like 40 bucks. Nope, got it for 12. Speaking of skirts, I got this one from TJ Maxx as well. And it's just like a denim skirt. It's like a jegging material. Like you see how much that like stretches. But I like it because it's like a tighter one because every jean skirt I've tried on has just not been flattering at all. It was just like not a trend I was going to get on board because I couldn't find one that I looked good in. So if you're in that same boat, just try one that's a little bit more form-fitting, that way it doesn't look like you... I don't know, that way it's flattering, I guess. <laughs> this shirt is also from American Eagle, it's a little tube top, and it has like the elastic on the top, and then underneath to where you can't see it, it has elastic on the bottom for that. And I sized down in this, I got an extra small because I just wanted to make sure it stayed up. And it has, every time I've worn it. This is from H&M and it's like an overall style like you'd have to wear a shirt underneath of it because of the way that like the front part is cut but it's a black suede and it has the silver zipper all the way down and I think it's super cute for like a night out also from H&M different trip though of course are these red bikini bottoms and they have like this ruffling and then on the back they are ruched to make your booty look good so this is a swimsuit top that I got from TJ Maxx I have a photo in it, so I'll put that here, but it's just basically a striped shirt, and it's a little padded. This is from Target. It is a one piece, it's like olive green, and it's like ribbed. It's a little cheeky, not gonna lie, but it's really cute on. And so it has this lace-up detail on the front, and a really low back. Next bikini I got at TJ Maxx as well. So it's just like this navy one with like a little tie detail and like it's very strappy on the back. And then the bottoms match and I actually got the bottoms and the top on different visits to TJ Maxx because at one time they didn't have the bottoms and the other time they didn't have the top. So that worked out. And then the next thing, also a bikini of course, because summer, is from Forever 21. Um, I sized up in the bottoms so I got a medium in the bottoms. They're like a pink metallic with the stripies. Nope, with the straps. <laughs> and then the top just matches that. So it's again like sparkly pink and has the straps in the middle. And I got the top in my normal size, which is a small. The next like two or three items make no sense because it's not, they're not summertime wear. But this is a rain jacket from New Balance, but it's TJ Maxx brand. So it's just navy. Hood, and then it has like a cute waist cinching detail which I really liked um, so it's also very soft so um, you know on the one day of the year that it rains in Arizona I'm gonna be set then I got this like workout type of athletic jacket type of thing it's plain white because I don't know why <laughs> and it's got a waist cinching detail as well and it has the thumb holes, and it's just gonna be super freaking cute. And it was $19.99. Referencing back to the vest that I got from the pink outlet, I also got these pair of shorts. They were also $4 because they were having such a good sale on like all the college stuff. So there's the ASU on the side of one leg. On the other side, they have the sun devil and the word pink. So these are comfy and cute, and they're like a little jersey material with like the open holes. This is from TJ Maxx, of course, and it was $13. I plan on wearing this with like high-waisted leggings and it's just a black sweater. It's pretty plain but it's super soft and cute on. This is from TJ Maxx as well. Honestly, if you don't shop at TJ Maxx, what are you doing? They have the best stuff and it's cheap most of the time. So it's just this tiny little white tank top with like a scalloped hem on the top and bottom and spaghetti straps. She's a little sheer but I think she was like $5. So you have to wear like a bralette that you don't care if it shows or something because you cannot go braless in this. So this, I bought that shirt to go with these pants. They're also from TJ Maxx and they are high-waisted and then they go 
all the way to the floor and I'm about 5'8 and they still like are long enough so that's great. And then they have a tie to cinch the waist. That's my other side. Tie to cinch the waist which I love. And they're so soft and awesome. This is a dress from Marshalls and it's a t-shirt dress. I literally got it yesterday but I like that it has like this waist tie so it kind of gives the illusion that it's a wrap dress but it's not. So this is $14.99. It's just a black and white stripe. This is the same material as that pink tie-dyed shirt I showed you from American Eagle because it's basically the same one <laughs> in blue but it has like a ruching between the boobies and then the bottom hemline is um, the ruffle type of a detail and it's super freaking cute. I've already worn that so many times. <laughs> And then this is a blue t-shirt. I got this from Marshalls as well for $10. It's like an extra large, just plain blue. Nothing special about it, but it's really soft. And I like to wear bigger t-shirts a lot of the time. So then I got these at TJ Maxx. And they're Calvin Klein pajama bottoms. They're like pretty sheer also, so you probably need to wear like nude underwear underneath. But that doesn't really bother me. So I'm not gonna wear these in public. I'm just gonna wear them at home, so whatever. So they're just cream colored with a bunch of gray diamonds all over them and then they have a gray bow and they're so soft. Then I got this pair of shorts at H&M. They have like a little back pocket that's fake. So don't be fooled. And they are so cute and I was going between this or a baby pink pair. And I decided the navy would look cute whether I was tan or pale and the pink pair would only look cute if I was tan. <laughs> so yeah. And then I got this swimsuit top. It's from TJ Maxx, but it's like the L Space brand. So it was still like $20, but it's so similar to that Forever 21 bathing suit. So it's like a sparkly blue with the straps and it's the same cut and everything. So I don't know why I bought both, but I did. <laughs> this next top is from Marshalls as well. I got it yesterday and it's got the cutest little embroidery. The embroidery is only on the left side. But I don't know, I think it's cute because then it's like not too much. It's just like a chambray top and I got it in, I think, a large. Oh, just kidding. It's a medium. It's just really oversized. And I plan on wearing this as like a jacket cardigan type of thing, but not as an actual shirt because that would be pretty big. But yeah, it was super cute and it was $12. And we've made it to the end, people. The last thing in this haul is a pair of Vans and they're so cute. They're like one of my new favorite pairs of shoes. The Adidas that I showed in the beginning are also my favorite pair of shoes because they're so comfortable. Like everyone knows Vans aren't like known for their comfort, but they're not uncomfortable, you know? But I really wanted the pair of these that are like nude and white checkered, but they didn't either have them at a lot of stores or they didn't have them in my size. So then I just like decided to go for the black and white pair and I'm so glad I did because it's so freaking cute. I still might pick up the nude pair at some point, but I also know myself and I probably won't because I like to be buying a lot of things that are cheap, as you saw, but I don't really like to spend like more than $40 on an item most of the time, so I might not pick up the nude pair. But basically these are super cute and I love them. So thank you guys so much for watching this giant haul. Definitely my biggest, but I honestly think that this is only my like, second clothing haul on this channel what but yeah so just let me know if you guys have any other videos you'd like to see from me and if you enjoyed don't forget to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching bye